Seed saving is a key principle of the biointensive method. If you are able to produce and save your own seeds, you will no longer be dependent on anyone else and can keep producing your own food year after year. And as John Jevons reminds us, it doesn't require a lot of effort. In the broader sense, one of the things that is so exciting is in just 3% more area than your current garden, you can grow all the seeds for your garden for next year. So if you have a 100 square foot bed or growing area, mm -hmm. you just need three square feet additional area to grow all your seeds for next year. These seeds then acclimatize themselves to your climate, your soil, uh, your cultural uh, approach, and they do better. The result of your labors in the garden will be to grow healthy plants that produce an abundance of seed that will sustain your garden for the next year. The biointensive method relies on the use of open pollinated seeds, seeds that have been naturally pollinated in the field as compared to hybrid varieties which are dependent on special processes and do not produce seed true to type. Acclimatized open pollinated seeds can be selected to be more resistant to pest damage, disease and drought. And because they come from your own garden, they are adapted to your specific climate and soil. When saving seeds, remember these basic guidelines. Carefully select the healthiest, most vigorous plants in your bed because these will pass on their best qualities through the seeds they produce. Select seeds from at least five plants to preserve genetic diversity. This is essential to the process. The flowers and seeds from the plants you select for seed production should be kept dry. So when you water the bed, be careful not to get them wet. And remember to harvest your seed on a dry and sunny day. Tim now shows us a quick and easy method for saving lettuce seeds using simple paper bags tied with string over the top of the flowering plants. The priority here is to save as much seed as possible. So what we're going to do is cut this plant at the very base and turn it over. That way if any seed falls off, it'll go right into the bag. So we clip it, we turn it over, we'll crumple the bag, give it a gentle tap. And that should get the seed off the plant. So, we want to do this for a minimum of five bags to preserve genetic diversity. After this point, we'll empty this out into a bowl and you're ready to save the seed. After harvesting your seed, get rid of any which are broken, stained, hollow, or chewed by insects. Dry it on a wire net or absorbent paper in a warm and ventilated space for five days. Once the seeds are cleaned and sorted, seal them in an airtight glass jar. Label the jar with the name of the crop, variety and harvest date. To guarantee the proper moisture level in your seeds, consider using a drying agent like Blue Indicator Silica Gel. Remember that seeds are alive and their biggest challenges are humidity, heat, fungi, insects and rodents. So keep them cool, dry and protected. If you follow these simple recommendations, you can then trade seeds with your friends and neighbors, and best of all, you will not depend on anyone else to keep producing your own food. Mm -hmm.